Okay, uh, next I'm looking at the US dollar against Swiss franc. It's a pair of the four majors that we look at on the 27th of October 2010. Hi, it's Ring Education, Chris speaking here. Just going over the analysis on the long term time frame. We've got weekly, daily, four hour, and hourly chart. Let's have a look at the weekly. Uh, we should do this primarily on a Monday or Sunday evening. Uh, but you'll notice that we've had two consecutive weeks of up movement after a very 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 um, negative selling off period and you can see subsequently we are trading lower than or we were trading lower than the all time low uh, for this pair you can see I'm, I'm just putting way back you can see it's never been at this 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 level and Having this trading at this high end here is a good sign that we could see a pair retesting a previous um, support area, which is great, which is heading to you right now as we speak. Um, so we're looking at possible targets of uh, 0.9928. Um, so not too far off now. Uh, still very much in a, in, in a sell. On a weekly time frame, uh, let's have a look at the daily. Yep, there's that 50 period moving average now, acting as the ceiling level. There we go. That's the previous breakout area we saw, 9950, and we are now heading towards it. Um, you can see that the price movement is going to be factored into it. As it stands now, you can see we've broken, actually broken through that. Now we're testing the 50 period, which is great. Um, ideally, if we can break above that, will give us a real good sign that we're going to see some more upside movement. You can see we've had swings to the upside, which is perfect. So we've had pull, swing, a swing, swing. All we need to do is have the pair break above 995 and close higher, and we could see some further um, upside movement. So as price has been getting closer, as you can see that we're seeing more momentum. It's still going up, but less confirmation or upside movement. Um, failure to break higher than 995 would see this just pull back and retest the trend line in, in the next couple of days, weeks. Let's have a look at the 4-hour time frame. That bullishness is there to see. Um, just gaining strength as it's really higher. Testing the top end of this uh, channel as we speak, and that ceiling level I mentioned earlier is in play. So, there we go previous support breakout. Okay, so ideally, you'd like to see it tra uh, trading well above uh, 995 to give us more indication of more upside movement. It's trading above the 200 period of moving edge, which is great at this time, say. So, as it as long as it can stay above the previous breakout, this resistance level here. So anything above 9, uh, 980 would be great. And then we could see it pre-testing this. So we could see a pullback and retest, or continue pullback and then breakout, and then okay. And then on the hourly time frame. You can see that range now, the exhaustion is starting to creep into it. This is after that. You can see the uptrend I mentioned. And if I just mirror that on top of that, you can see that it is now testing that upper band. Okay, and the momentum is going to swift. So a break above that and 995 would confirm more upside movement. Okay, guys, otherwise we could just see it pull back. Uh, I dearly would like to see it say above the 980 mark. Uh, as long as it stays above this area, we could see some more upside movement. Okay, so CTC is strong across that on a, on an hourly four. Hour. Perfect for getting looking for entries to go long. Break above 995 would give us a, a, a definite indication to go even longer on this pair. So, got to break the ceiling level close higher would see confirmation of going to 1.01. I'll be back next with the US dollar against Japanese pair next. Cheers.